Hello and welcome to A Level Business at Durham Sixth Form Centre. My name's Mr Bone. I am one of the business teachers here at Durham Sixth Form Centre and a senior assistant head teacher. The purpose of this presentation is to give you an overview of the A Level course here at Durham Sixth Form Centre. Um, that includes information about this team, the topics taught as part of the course, the assessment, how you will be assessed, and the results that we achieve. So firstly, um, in terms of the team, Mr. Brown is the head of business here at the centre um, and he works with a, a fairly large and very experienced team of teachers, including myself, um, Miss Martin, Miss Blackall and Miss Wardle. Um, and we together form the business team. Uh, we also, as a department, offer the CTEC in business um, at level three. Um, and if you're interested in that qualification, then please watch that video. Um, in terms of the topics studied in business, um, we follow EDUCAS, the EDUCAS exam board, um, and the, the, the specification is broken down into three main components. The first component, component one, is business opportunities and functions, and this will be studied at the start of year 12, and this will give you an overview um, and an understanding of a range of business topics from uh, business and enterprise, look through to business location, business plans, finance, uh, topics such as elasticity, supply and demand, leadership management, so the, the basics and the essential uh, topics are covered in that component. As we move through year 12, um, we will start component two, which is business analysis and strategy. Um, within there, you look more at the financial and non-financial factors that affect the performance of a business and how we might assess a business's performance using those factors. Um, so fac uh, looking at systems such as profitability ratios, uh, liquidity ratios, um, return on capital employed, gearing ratio for instance. Um, we will also look at strategy and implementation and within that there will be some models that we consider such as ANSOF and Porter's uh, five forces. Um, we consider the, the importance of decision making tools such as uh, decision trees, critical path analysis, cost benefit analysis and their value in supporting the decision making process. And we look at other topics such as investment appraisal, um, you know, the, the, looking at the return on, on an investment through, um, through methods such as payback period, average rate of return and uh, net present value. Um, as we move into year 13, we will look at component three, which is business in a changing world. And, and judging by that, you'll, you'll understand that there is a more international dimension to component three. Um, so we look at things like pestle analysis. Um, we will look at topics such as globalization and international trade, as well as uh, topics such as risk management and, and the management of change within an organization. So those are the three components that we study across the course of, uh, of the A-level. In terms of assessment, it's important to note that the A-level is assessed um, by examination purely, so it's 100% exam based. Um, you would sit three two hour, 15 minute um, exams at the end of the course, um, and each of those exams roughly covers one of the, those components. Um, each of the components, each of those exams is equally weighted at 33.3%. Um, and each of those exam papers will assess four assessment objectives. Um, assessment objective one is looking at your knowledge and understanding in relation to the topics that I've talked about. Um, assessment objective two is how we apply that to a business scenario. Uh, so it's about application in context. Uh, assessment objective three is looking at analysis and how you develop those arguments and, and structure your, your reasoning. And then assessment objective four is looking at evaluation skills. So how you use qualitative and quantitative information in order to reach a judgment. Um, Across the papers, there are a range of assessment question styles, so they will range from one to two mark calculations, definitions, knowledge-based questions, all the way up to um, 20 mark essays. So in component three, you will have to write a 20 mark essay, which is a synoptic essay question, um, and, and kind of considers information from across the, the three components. Um, in, as, you, and as you would anticipate, uh, the importance of quantitative skills in business cannot be um, emphasised. So throughout the course, there are lots of 
factors that affect um, profitability. So we're looking at diff a range of different financial methods. We're looking at things like break even. Uh, we're looking at a range of topics which will require you to have a sound mathematical basis. So there will be lots of um, lots of topics that are linked to maths as you go throughout the course. Okay. In terms of results, um, we have a strong history of success in the A-level business here at Durham Sixth Form Centre um, and we will support you uh, throughout the process to ensure you achieve as highly as you possibly can. Um, last year's results, 2021, are on the screen and you'll see that um, over 96% of students achieved an A-star to C in the A-level qualification. So that's it from me. Hopefully, uh, thank you for listening. Hopefully, that'll give that's given you some um, food for thought in terms of uh, deciding your A level subjects, your level three subjects here at Durham Sixth Form Centre. Uh, if you feel like business is the course for you, then we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you.